Hello, I'm David Chaston with 98.9, 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds and 9 o'clock, with news of commodity prices really under the gun. But first, in the US, data released overnight showed their savings rate rose to 4.8% in June from 4.6% in May. This rise was because consumer spending in June was held back by slower car buying. But with car sales sharply higher in July, consumer spending likely got a boost last month. Spending is supported by rising incomes as their labour markets continue to expand and house prices rise, boosting household wealth. The personal consumption expenditure data is something that the US Fed says it watches closely. But there was less than stellar growth in both US construction data for June and factory output in July. Both showed healthy gains but below economist expectations. But the bad news keeps coming for commodities after the sector was dealt a further blow by weaker than expected China data. In New York, the US Treasury 10-year yield benchmark is sharply lower yet again at 2.16%. Local swap rates will also open lower today. The US oil price is a lot lower as well at $45 a barrel and Brent crude is at $49 a barrel, the first time it's been under $50 since January. Basically, there's a supply glut. The gold price has also taken a hit today. It is now down to $1,086 an ounce. But the New Zealand dollar starts today pretty much unchanged at 65.9 US cents, at 90.8 Aussie cents and 60.2 Euro cents. The TWI is at 70.9. Look out later today for July QV data and possibly the Barfoot Auckland data as well. We'll also get the Reserve Bank of Australia's latest rate review late this afternoon. And then this time tomorrow, we'll be reporting on the latest dairy auction, followed by Friday's Fonterra payout review. It might be a tough week. I'm David Chaston. That was 9 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.